the river Sarka flows through an impassable region in the Brenta Mountains. In western Trentino, there are only a few villages. In 1967, Adamello Brenta became the first national park in Italy. Today, the 620 square kilometer national park is the largest protected area in the province. Near Pinsolo, the natural historian Filippo Zibordi is hot on the trail of an animal that's almost died out in the Alps, a brown bear. Coming across a bear is very, very rare, as the animals are spread out all over the place. And here there are probably around 30 in a very large area. They are particularly timid, and notice our presence before we notice them, as they have a particularly good sense of smell and hearing. That's why you need to be very lucky to see a bear. By releasing Slovenian bears into the wild, the National Park managed to increase the bear population. The Natural Park not only consists of the Brenta Dolomites, but also many forests and lakes, ideal conditions for the bears. One of them even made it into the Bavarian Alps in 2006. It's important to remember that bears had almost died out in the Alps and have only remained here. The coexistence of humans and bears is only possible in densely populated Trentino thanks to an intensive monitoring system. Monitoring the bears, finding out how many there are and where they are, is very difficult because you see them so rarely. That's why we go looking for their organic traces, fur in particular, which the bears lose on trees, but also in caves when they rub themselves. With the help of these traces, the natural historian can reconstruct the trail of the animals. Here he's found some fur, important for DNA samples that will be examined in the laboratory. Similar to forensic statistics, this allows Filippo to gain important information about the animal population, the number of females, and which animals are related. From November to March, the animals retreat to their caves. That's why Filippo only enters them in summer. During the other months, the danger of surprising a bear would be too great. In this cave, a bear has carried foliage inside as protection. Bears generally choose small caves to hibernate in. The larger caves aren't sheltered enough, and they're more exposed to the cold.
It's an animal that has to be treated with respect and from which we should keep an appropriate distance. A distance which allows the bear to fulfill his needs. The same goes for us. These caves are very important places for preserving the species and must therefore be protected.